G'day, I'm Angus Stewart, horticulturist and farmer and today I want to share with you a review of a product I've been testing for the last six months. It's the Thunderbird Electric Mesh Chicken Fence. So this orange mesh that you see behind me is an electrified fence designed to keep in chickens but I've been using it to keep out the wildlife that absolutely decimates my nursery plants. I'm growing thousands of trees on my farm here for essential oil production and uh, revegetation work, windbreaks and, and the like. And this electric mesh fence has been an absolute godsend in terms of keeping out all the wallabies, possums and other marsupials that are in profusion here in southern Tasmania where my farm is. So you can set this mesh up to keep animals in and this particular product is designed for poultry, chickens, geese and the like. Uh, but in this case around the nursery I'm using it as an exclusion device and I have to say the results have been absolutely spectacular. Every night when I come out there uh, critters everywhere and I can prove that by just showing you the droppings of all the uh, marsupials uh, in particular paddy melons, wallabies, uh, possums and so on. I do have Ober on the wonder dog uh, you can see wandering about uh, in the shot there but Obi uh, uh, once he uh, tested the fence he uh, certainly wasn't coming back for more. So, over the last six months of road testing the electric mesh fence, I have uh, learned a great deal about uh, installation, moving it around and so on. So I'd like to just uh, take you through a few of the uh, really important points about installation to get the fence to reach its maximum uh, potential in either keeping animals in or keeping them out as I'm doing. So let's get into it. It's around my little nursery here and uh, it's doing a fantastic job of keeping that fence uh, very hot so uh, all of the wildlife is uh, certainly being kept out. So important to uh, install this properly so it needs to face due north to get the maximum amount of sunlight to keep it powered up. It uh, also has a uh, red wire which attaches to the fence to uh, keep it uh, powered up. And there's also this green uh, clip which is for earthing the unit. I've got it attached to a special portable galvanised earth stake supplied by Thunderbird. By inserting it down into your subsoil, you're more likely to keep it in moist soil that maximises the charge. Then there is a the star picket on which the uh, unit is mounted. It's a lovely, elegantly simple system. This just fits over the top of a uh, star picket and uh, you're in business. So it does need to uh, be charged up before it's fully functional. So it needs to be out in the sun for uh, quite a while. Or there is a separate charger which you can hook up to the mains system and that is quite handy if in the middle of winter here in Tasmania when we get uh, cool cloudy weather for any length of time uh, you can actually just uh, recharge the battery of the energizer from mains power if you need to but so far I've found it's doing a fantastic job without that uh, need to use the mains power so totally powered by solar and that means uh, there's no power costs uh, essentially once you've uh, bought the unit. So it's uh, been a fantastic uh, bonus for me to have this system uh, to keep out the uh, various animals that uh, cause havoc with my uh, plants. I've got the fence turned off at the moment just so I can show you a couple of the features with installation. Uh, built into the fence there are these orange poles which have metal prongs at the base which are sharpened so that you can easily press that into the soil and you can do it with your foot in harder ground 
and uh, to keep the uh, mesh taut I've also used some of the uh, Thunderbird uh, fence posts uh, made of nylon which uh, are well insulated so that uh, I can just keep the fence nice and uh, taut in between the orange poles. So it's very important I've found that uh, you keep the grass mowed or killed uh, underneath the perimeter of the fence uh, because as the grass grows it touches the uh, live orange wires and that will short the fence out and uh, it won't give you the full shock to uh, keep the animals uh, at bay. So the bottom of the fence has a black wire which is not powered up so that can sit on the ground and it doesn't cause the fence to short out. But the more you can uh, keep the fence clear at the bottom, the, uh, the better it will operate in terms of uh, keeping the fence hot, so to speak. So one of the things I wanted to show you, though, was how effective this uh, fence is. And uh, there's manure droppings of the wildlife uh, just all around the fence dozens and dozens and dozens of droppings that are, uh, these critters are just walking all around this fence but most importantly for me not going through it. So the Thunderbird electric mesh chicken fence uh, is a very very versatile product, very easy to install and move around and also it just does a fantastic job of either keeping the uh, animals that you want inside or also keeping out uh, wildlife uh, which is my particular objective and also if you're keeping um, chooks and so on then you're going to want to keep out vermin such as foxes and the like so the fence also is vital for keeping out predators if you are farming uh, poultry and the like so the uh, thunderbird uh, fence So for me, it's been a question of where have you been all my life, Thunderbird electric mesh chicken fence. It's absolutely perfect for my needs.